The Model Y has quickly become Tesla's flagship product. With Elon Musk stating that once the new factories in Austin and Berlin are up and running in volume production, it's likely that the Model Y will be the number one best-selling car in the world. The Model Y originally hit the market in 2020, introducing new technology to Tesla lineup, including a heat pump and Tesla's famed Octa valve, which controls the entire vehicle's heating and cooling system. This new tech along with additional advancements were later brought to Tesla's other vehicles as well. However, since then, Tesla has made countless changes to their mass market crossover, which is set to be produced, starting with Tesla's Giga Berlin factory in Germany. Up until now, Model Y has been manufactured at Tesla's Fremont factory in California and its Gigafactory Shanghai in China. But Tesla has prepared some new enhancements, beginning with the European market, when the 2022 Model Y launches, as early as this year. Let's check out all the improvements and changes that are coming to the new Model Y. So let's get started. The Model Y has undergone so many improvements in the last two years since its inception that the new Model Y being produced at Giga Berlin may actually be difficult to recognize from a technology standpoint. The vehicle looks visually similar, but as we'll soon see, it's far from being the same. While the upcoming 2022 Model Y shares the same name as the original 2020 Model Y, the differences are immense. When the Model Y was first unveiled, Tesla estimated that a dual-motor all-wheel drive version would have a 280-mile range, along with the performance version, using the EPA standard. The single-motor, standard and long-range Model Y variants ended up and were not sold in the United States. But when Model Y first hit the market in 2020, Tesla stated that due to continued engineering progress of the Model Y, all-wheel drive, which is now better known as the long-range version, they were able to increase its maximum EPA range to 315 miles, compared to the original estimate of 280 miles. This extended Model Y's led as the most energy-efficient electric SUV in the world. At the same time, the performance version saw an increase to 291 miles. But Tesla didn't stop there. Through purely software upgrades, meaning that even for people who had already purchased, Tesla was able to increase the range even further, to 326 miles on a long range and 303 miles on the performance version. Now, there is some speculation that Tesla could have a 400-mile Model Y coming out of Giga Berlin. While this is possible, given that Tesla is planning to use its new 4680 batteries in the vehicle, which have a much higher energy density compared to the traditional 2170 battery cells found in the US-made Model Y. It's unlikely that Tesla will increase range by that much, as it would rival and potentially cannibalize Tesla Model S and X vehicles, which have now surpassed 403 and 360 miles of range respectively. Europe uses the WLTP standard, which actually lowers the Model Y range to 298 miles. But in China, the NEDC standard is used, which gives even the current Model Y 398 miles of range already, which is almost 400 miles. So this is likely still speculation, based on confusion of the different standards used around the world for measuring driving cycles. Now over the last two years, Tesla has made numerous changes to its vehicle. Tesla has replaced and upgraded the center console from a glossy finish to a matte finish, which gives it a much cleaner look and no longer shows the loads of fingerprints and dust that were previously very visible. It now has built-in induction phone chargers as well. The 128GB USB stick now comes with the vehicle, and the USB port has been moved to inside the glove box, along with the second USB that has been added inside the center console. Model Y now comes equipped with a heated steering wheel and auto-dimming mirrors, whereas previous, only the rear-view mirror was auto-dimming in 2020. Tesla also added a second water jet on the wiper blade, where there was only one before. 
There are numerous other changes that Tesla has done to the Model Y. We'll not discuss everything in detail, so here's the list of changes that Tesla made. Laminated double-paned glass on the front side windows, third row seating option, removing the lumbar support for the passenger seat, pedestrian warning system, bio-weapon defense mode, and camera-based vision system. Now the beauty about having a Model Y or any Tesla is that Tesla is still one of the only car companies in the world that can do over-the-air software updates, even for firmware, and Tesla has been doing this since the beginning. This means that as Tesla software has improved in the Model Y over 2020 to 2022 timeframe, all Tesla users continuously get the latest software update. This doesn't just include the interface on the infotainment system, but every aspect of the vehicle, including braking distance, range, as previously mentioned, even airbag safety, everything can be made better over time. So while Tesla has made countless software refinements, bug fixes, added new features, and the software is now far more advanced, even those who purchased their Model Ys in 2020 are benefiting from these improvements. One very prominent example is the Tesla Autopilot software. While at the present time, full self-driving beta capability is only available to limited people, but when Tesla is ready, they can push their latest version of FSD to customers who purchased the service. Tesla is upping the ante for its 2022 Model Y, coming from Berlin. The company will be up against their German rivals, but this time on their home turf. Tesla is going all out to make the 2022 Model Y as unbeatable as they can. Elon Musk is starting with a precise platform on a fresh slate in order to mitigate any potential quality issues off the bat. One of the most widespread concern has been panel gaps for vehicles being built in Fremont, even though most Tesla owners don't notice or care about this detail. Entering the German market, Tesla will set high build quality standards, something that Giga Shanghai factory in China has already done. Elon Musk has said that he's aiming for micron, not millimeter precision, across the vehicle build. This will be up to 1,000 times more precise than the prior Model Y. Paint quality has also been a pain point for Tesla in the past. Elon Musk is fed up with hearing about quality issues, so he's built what he claims is the best paint shop in the world. Model Y will have multiple different layers of paint to create new colors for Tesla vehicles. It's likely that Gigafactory Austin will also have an advanced paint shop for Model Y, but Tesla hasn't given too much information away about this new Gigafactory. In Berlin, Tesla showed off new colors and even some custom designs. One of the commenters speculated that Tesla's paint shop could do custom graphics uploaded by users. However, this may be too complicated for buyers, if anything, predefined templates might be an option. But this appears to be more aspirational, as paint shop videos that Tesla has shared give no indication that they will do custom vehicle graphics. Now, Tesla owner and hacker, Green the only noted that there are some images in the firmware that looks to be like an air suspension for Model Y. While it's not confirmed by the company, but air suspension would allow for a smoother ride, better handling, and even higher efficiency and performance, all depending on the scenarios where it's used. Moreover, one thing that Elon Musk has stated in the past is that the Model S had 3,000 meters of wiring, Model 3 had 1,500 meters, and Model Y, which was originally supposed to be built on its own platform, was supposed to have just 100 meters of wiring. However, this never happened, since Elon Musk's colleagues convinced him that at the time, it made much more sense to reuse the Model 3's platform for the Model Y. In hindsight, this was a strategic move and contributed to allowing Model Y to be delivered to customers earlier than expected. However, with a fresh new slate for Model Y at Berlin and Texas, it's possible that Elon Musk can finally execute on this vision. Tesla has patents around efficient use of wiring, combining power and communication channels, and it's also developed special wires that can be inserted into the vehicle with robots instead of humans. We'll have to wait for the 2022 Model Y teardown to see if this is in fact the case.
Tesla has also enhanced the vehicle headlights with adaptive lighting, which will be on the European Model Y. Adaptive headlights in the US were actually more difficult for Tesla to bring to market since changing beam patterns were not allowed for night driving, but in Europe, they are. Elon Musk said that this will be useful for not blinding pedestrians, cyclists, and oncoming traffic. The headlights are precise enough to display text and probably images as well, like a projector. That can be a fun feature for outdoor parties, or maybe even practical enough for sending short messages to other drivers. While Tesla has basically made modifications to every aspect of the vehicles since its launch, the biggest change is the completely redesigned body of the car. The new Model Y will be fully utilizing Tesla's new Gigapresses and have two large castings, one for each of the front and the rear, and it will also contain the new structural battery pack. Currently, Model Y in Fremont just has a rear casting. The new Model Ys will have larger rear castings, integrating the crash rails as well, and its separate front casting, both made from Tesla's in-house 300X aluminum. This will remove the need for 370 parts, which is a massive change, and Tesla calls this a revolution in body and battery engineering. Again, keeping in mind that it's only been two years since the Model Y's launch, the new body will weigh 10% less and will add 14% in range just from the benefits of the new design. Single-piece castings will also reduce noise vibrations and harshness and actually improve the body strength and safety. One concern that people have is that if the cars meets with an accident, then won't the entire vehicle be written off? But these new castings are quite strong and they are embedded deep within the vehicle. Low-speed accidents won't damage the castings and if a high-speed crash occurs, then the casting will likely help save lives. That said, just as previous repairs have been done, damaged pieces can be cut out and new pieces can be welded back in. Perhaps service centers could get spare giga castings to cut pieces out for repairs, however, this would reduce the durability of the casting. Furthermore, Tesla is coupling this new design with the structural battery pack. The battery pack itself will be providing rigidity and structure to the vehicle, the car seats appear to be mounted directly onto the pack itself, which is very different from the current Model Y, where Tesla needs robots to insert the seats through the doors of the vehicle. But this structural battery pack means that batteries cannot be easily replaced, however, the structural battery pack depends on the 4680 battery cells. While Tesla hasn't confirmed it, Elon Musk has been talking about the million-mile battery for quite some time. It's very likely that Tesla's new 4680 cells will last over a million miles in terms of degradation and will never need to be replaced anyways. Even if batteries degrade, the vehicle is still usable, but the range may start to decrease, but a million mile lifespan can be up to 40 years for a car, and so the batteries will likely outlast the rest of the Model Y. The 4680 cells will allow up to 16% range increase over Tesla's other battery cells, such as the 2170s. This means that Tesla could theoretically achieve a much higher range for the vehicle. However, it's more likely that Tesla will put in fewer cells to achieve still a competitive range, but this could allow them to use the LFP or lithium ion phosphate type cathode with the 4680. Typically, LFP batteries have lower energy density, but combined with 4680 cells, Tesla can still easily achieve the range that they need. LFP batteries have lower cost and will help Tesla reduce consumer prices over time, which is one of Elon Musk's stated goals that he reiterated at Tesla's most recent annual meeting. These battery types also have more stable chemical properties, meaning they're safer and they have extremely low chance of catching fire. Also, they don't use cobalt at all, which is expensive to extract. The 4680 cells themselves are completely different from Tesla's 2170 cells. They use a tablet design to reduce the heat generated and have strong properties related to cycle life, energy density, power, and more. 
As mentioned, Tesla's structural battery pack relies on the 4680 battery cells, which makes it extremely difficult for competitors to copy, since at the present time, no automaker or battery manufacturer is able to scale any type of battery, such as this. Even Tesla is still working to improve 4680 yield and ramp up production. Also, we think that the Model Y from Gigafactory Austin will be starting with 4680 batteries and the structural battery pack design only. However, Elon Musk has already mentioned about a backup plan. At Giga Berlin, however, Tesla Model Y will begin production with a new, non-structural battery pack, using non-4680 batteries, coming from Tesla China, until Giga Berlin has ramped up its own sufficient production of 4680 cells. In all, these major changes, along with all of the small but meaningful improvements that Tesla has put in just since 2020, will make the 2022 Model Y a colossal step above the Model Y that Tesla originally launched with. While it looks about the same and shares the same name, it's almost as if Tesla has taken 50 model years of improvements and squashed them into just two years. They've enhanced almost every aspect of the vehicle that we know of. There are likely thousands of smaller changes that are still not known to the public, and Tesla is likely keeping some Easter eggs to themselves, aiming to surprise and delight customers who are first to get their hands on the new 2022 Model Y. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.